Welcome back to Project Union City. This is the third episode. And today, guys, you are about to see the biggest transformation ever. Now, the house is about 90, 92% done. So, you know, when we hit that point, we get the for sale sign up. Why? We gotta get the buzz going. And if somebody comes by and they stop the car and they wanna call that sign and they wanna offer us something ridiculous, like 1.6, 1.7 million, we're gonna take the offer. So let's go take a look at the product and let me know what you guys think down below. Did we do a good job? Did we not? Uh, what do you like? What do you don't like? I wanna hear it all. So turn your head this way. Okay, first thing you're gonna see, I don't like the rocks. This is what happens when you try to do everything virtually. Now, my assistant, she does a great job. She got a great price for it, but this rock was supposed to be significantly darker. Now typically we would go with black tan bark, but in the past when it gets windy, the tan bark gets blown everywhere and then you know the neighbors start getting mad at me, so I decided to go with rocks. But it was supposed to be darker, so now I have to come up with a solution, either spray a clear gloss on it like a paint or we remove it and we put the black tan bark down, you know, spend the extra 1000 bucks. That's okay. I don't know. Let me know what you think I should do right here. Now let's go over here to the main house. As you can see, we went with our typical white walls, black trim, but we didn't go with the yellow door. Why? I'll explain why. We didn't go with the yellow door because we felt with double doors, yellow would just be way too in your face. We wanted something a little bit more subtle. And so we thought long and hard and I looked down at my watch and I said, Hmm, I actually love the olive dial on my president. And so that's where we got this inspiration from. So let's go inside and this is where you will see the real transformation. Let's go. You guys ready? I don't know if you're ready. Let's go. inside the living room. So what do we do? We got the beautiful LVP flooring here. It looks like wood. It looks so luxurious. Now, typically, you'll see that this is about seven to eight inches wide. That is a little bit more luxurious. We don't go with the smaller hardwood floors because that's like the older, early 2000 remodel. This mimics modern, nice color. So this was about $2 a square foot. We charged another $2 to install it, so all in $4 per square foot. You see above us, all the light. This is LED, we went with the four inch, so a little bit nicer, we didn't wanna go with the big one, and it came out amazing. Let's come into the best part of the house. The best part of the house is the kitchen. We went with the counter depth fridge, what does that mean? It doesn't stick out so much, it's an extra cost, we spent that money. Inside guys, very simple, went with the white shaker cabinet with the black handles. And for the backsplash, we decided to just, instead of going with the tile, we use the same quartz countertop as the backsplash. We like it because faster to install, it looks really good, and for a buyer, it's very easy to clean. If you remember what this kitchen looked like before, it was terrible. And now it came out absolutely stunning. Now, this is no surprise to me because in every single one of our flips, we always go white shakers, Calcutta-like quartz countertop, stainless steel appliances, and it really, it, I just never stop being amazed by the result. And that's why we continue to keep using the same style in every single home. Why? Because it's timeless. Let's go actually this way. Okay guys, now we're in the second living room. Look at how good that fireplace came out. I mean, it is a statement piece of the room. Now, before, you wouldn't even recognize it because it was that older style brick. Now it's black, it's sleek, it's modern. It is sexy as hell. And this room right here before felt very small. The carpet, the darker color, but now with the walls being painted white, the lighter style flooring, this room feels massive and this is gonna be a great selling point for the new buyers. Let's come down this way, guys. We're gonna take you down the hall to the bathrooms, but before we go down that way, you'll notice that we have black 
sleek, sexy handles. They feel great. Ooh, come on. This is the best part. Step into the bathroom, guys. You can see when with a nice gray color, we got the new vanity. We actually have LED lit mirrors. This is a great thing. I love these mirrors. Not only for putting them in our flips, but personal use. I shave, I can see my face better. Really great addition, not very expensive. All buyers love it. All right guys, come on to this way because this is gonna be the selling point of the bathroom. Now look, we went with the black door handles for every single door. So naturally, we had to tie in the black with the towel rack, the towel hook, the black Schluter, the black faucet you see, so that you have that flow. We, what we didn't want to do was, like for example, I see sometimes people go black handles, but when they go into the bathroom, they go with a chrome. That kind of causes a little bit of a clash. The other thing I want to mention is that we went with similar shapes, right? The door handles are all square, so therefore when it came to the towel rack, we also went with a square look. It's the little details, guys, that you have to pay attention to when you're flipping a million dollar home. The next thing, guys, I'm gonna admit to you guys, because we did make an accident, right? We did make a mistake. These subway tiles, when we were picking them out, in the light of the warehouse, it looked white. What I didn't read carefully was that these were actually light gray. Now, it's a beautiful mistake because it actually flows and it turned out really amazing because it ties in with the gray floor. It was a mistake, but the result came out amazing and I'm very happy with it. And actually, as a matter of fact, we're gonna start using this exact same style for our future flips. So let's go take a look at some of the bedrooms and the other bathroom, let's go. Okay, come down the hallway guys. As you remember, we put recessed lighting down here as well, so nice and bright. Put the closet door in. The bedrooms, not much to note, right? Looks kind of the same, came up beautiful. Let's take you guys into the master bathroom because that's the next selling point of this house. Okay guys, welcome to the master bathroom. As you can see, we were with similar towel hooks, black, squared off, and we've made sure to place them in places that people are actually gonna use them. So, you know, obviously if you're taking a shower in there, you're gonna want a towel rack right here. This way, you'll see that we went with a newer vanity, black faucets, same thing with the LED mirrors, and we put a little towel rack right here, dry your hands, more towel options back here as well. Okay, now I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite tiles to work with, because it came out amazing for this bathroom. We went with a nice darker gray in this bathroom and instead of choosing a different uh, shower surround, we went with the same tile that's on the floor and we chose to go with a black chevron for the soap box. Again, tying in all the blacks of the house so you can see there's a common theme, a common color and guys, it just came out beautiful. All right, now follow me guys as I take you guys to the backyard. We cleaned it up and I am very surprised by how much bigger it feels. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the backyard. Very simple, we cut all those weeds down, we cut all the trees and we just put black tan bark where there was dirt. Look at how much bigger this yard looks and feel. All right, now looking at the back of the house, like I said, we're about 92% done. So what is remaining back here? Well, we gotta paint the gutters black. We gotta paint the downspout black. Cause right now, if you look at it, it's too plain Jane, right? Like if we were to just leave everything white, it doesn't pop. So once we paint it black, it's gonna be truly spectacular. Here's another tip for you guys. If you notice, the satellite dishes are not operable. They're actually gonna be taking that down. But all the vents on the roof as well are a little bit gray, they're tired, they've been beaten by the sun. We're gonna paint those black and it's gonna really just show the level of details for the buyers when they're buying this. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little update. The house looks beautiful. And just to remind you guys, when we bought the project, we were anticipating to make anywhere from 130,000 to 150,000. But the market has gotten a lot better. Inventory is still very tight. And now with the new comps coming out, we're expected to make 200,000 for this property. So 200,000 in three months worth of work, I'm very happy with those kind of results. 
So let's see, again, the market changes every day, but as of today, that's the number that we stand to make. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys wanted to see what it looked like before, make sure you watch this video right here.